Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 20 past 10 and we have been incredibly busy. I'm just swapping over, I've just tipped the fertiliser out and I'm now putting the lime back in that we had left over from doing um, Farmer Eric's field, field 21. I'm going to see if I can lime over the top of um, field 19, our grass field. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, we'll see. Um, according to all evidence provided the baked bean is here. It has been shipped. It has been delivered. A massive thank you to Stephen and Jack for the shipping. Um, Jack especially. And um, obviously thank you to KJ Wiggins Inc. for the haulage and drop off. There she is. What a beauty. Awesome. Very nice indeed. Right. Um, so yeah, we're going to try this out first. All the bales that were ready to be shipped have gone they have all been taken they've all been shipped and we have been paid we are up to 178,895 we didn't do too bad out of that I have to say not bad at all um that was yeah that was a lot of bales I think other than the what I had nine didn't I so 140 bales were taken and dropped off to be shipped wherever it is they're going off to um wow now, a um, couple of things. We're thinking of, and I'll, I'll, again, this is another one I'll get onto in more detail with the person that submitted it. Um, but there was a kind of a thought um, about the fact that Marwell Manor Farms, um, the little building there, the wooden sort of cabin, is like the B and B. It's like a you know, like a bed and breakfast. What B and B is? Um, <coughs> and we're thinking about running. Kind of like farm experience type stuff, but we're, we're thinking about pony trekking. And like I say, there's a bit more detail coming with that. Um, let's see if this will work. Don't think it is, is it? I'm pretty sure lime and um, fertilizer and herbicide will only work if it's not fully grown. Let's just have a quick check. Make sure I go to the right menu. So we don't make a mess of it. Uh, so let's go that way. Take off the ploughing. Yeah, it still says needs lime. Yep, that's not going to work. Okay, so what I've got to do then is next time I cut this, before it starts to grow again, I've got to lime it. I'm assuming it will let me do it then. I don't know. We'll see how that pans out. Um, maybe not. It might be one of those things that will just have to stay. But it was worth a try. I thought I'd give that a go first of all. Um, Olsen David's um, update has now been fully submitted. There's a whole list of stuff that has been uh, changed, that will change. The good news is there should be no need for a new save game, which is brilliant news. He said he's tried desperately to make sure that wasn't the case, and he thinks he's cracked it. So there'll be a lot of update changes, and I'll do a video on that, and we'll put that all in. 
so awesome now on the topic of the um the b and b and the pony tracking and that kind of thing quick message to all of you i want to just do a shout out and this is on behalf of matthew this isn't necessarily a shout out for matthew but matthew got a job working um, at amelia trust farm and that's in wales uh near barry or it's the vale of glamorgan and they're um an open farm um for um farm visits for families um they've got um like a petting area with various different animals they do um school visits and trips they specialize in um during term time helping out disadvantaged disabled uh, children with uh disabled disabled children children with behavioral issues um and disadvantaged children that kind of thing which i think is brilliant but it is for families as well anyway it's free entry it's open from 10 a.m till 4 p.m or last people in are at 4 p.m i think every day apart from christmas day um they offer parties that you can book there's a 23 bed bunk house so you can do extended visits go for a week and that kind of thing um, all sorts of stuff. It, it looks like an amazing place. I haven't actually personally been. I've been on the website, but he asked me to give a shout out because this week they're doing like a fundraiser thing because they are run on donations. And I think they also take in animals um, that have been um, not necessarily mistreated, but you know, not looked after or for various different reasons. Because he did message me and said, There's Tina the Tortoise in the petting zoo, there's Tina the Tortoise. He showed me some pictures the other day of... Was it hedgehogs they were feeding? I can't remember now. Um, but they've got a donkey that's asthmatic, believe it or not, and requires medication. So they run on donations. And obviously, you know, that's hard to do. So they re they rely on the fact that when people visit, people will donate. I'm driving around with this fertiliser. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it. Let's turn that off. And what we'll do, we'll go over and feed um, Delirious as well. So, yeah, this week's a fundraiser. There we go, a bit of food in there. See, I look after you. Um, if anyone fancies going over, they've got a website. There's a donate thing on there as well. You know, I'm not begging. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just putting it out there that there's a lot of these places all over the uh, all over the country, probably all over the world that do this. And they do rely on help from other people. And... Um, you know, if you can help out in any way, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you want to go and visit, go along. If you're anywhere near there, or you're planning a trip to Wales at any point, out near Barry, go along, have have a look. The Amelia Trust Farm. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, just, I thought I'd give him a shout, because he messaged me and asked him, would I be able to? And I looked on the website, and it's amazing, you know, what they do and what they provide and, you know, all the options. Again, there's so much there to do. I think they've got conference facilities and yeah, all sorts. But anyway, yeah, check them out. Check them out. Um, right, so, right, the 15th sheep arrived. That's been dropped off, and that's in here. So what we've got to do now is a couple of jobs. I'm going to take the baked bean and we're going to go I don't need the baked bean specifically for this but as soon as it's here we might as well fire up the beast right now I'm not Lyman field 19 what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the store because we need to lease some equipment we need to do farm Eric's field and we need to be planting corn which means we need a planter we've got a cedar so that's not going to help us very much so we need to lease the planter um, which we will do but on the way past we are going to hopefully put an offer on South Fuse Farm because once we own it that does also then mean that we can take delivery of chickens from uh, Marwell Manor um, the head chef at Marwell Manor so that we can provide eggs for his lordship at the manor for his functions and things that he does there um, so yeah a couple of things we'll buy that and then we'll head to the store we'll get some equipment and we'll get this going on uh, field 21 my crops are growing nicely um, i trying to think what else I'm, I can get done in this episode things that I need to get done I was thinking like I say I, I kind of cut myself short because I started talking about Amelia Farm uh, Amelia Trust Farm um, but I'm thinking of 
until his lordship manages to sort out the problems with his wife and the land and who owns it and who's paying for it and who can use it um, of kind of killing two birds with one stone being able to have, uh, offer pony trekking and that kind of stuff from the, um, the B&B Marwell Manor Farms bed and breakfast um, of getting one of the small two horse stables you know that little small one that came as a mod um, and putting that on our land oh that reminds me Michael's coming isn't he about the solar panels we need to sort that out too so that's probably not on the best thing is it there we go fruit types where are we Southview's farm this little plot here how much is that going to cost us 59 grand that's not bad is it that's kind of what we've been earning money for so we'll buy it so we now own Southview's barn and Southview's farm really all of this is now ours which means we can get chickens and pigs if we want to I know I often shy away from those because they require quite a lot of work but maybe on one of my let's plays at some point we'll do a whole pig farm thing get a load of pigs on the go so yeah this is ours now awesome right good news let's close that that was the first of our purchases I thought it was more expensive than that so I'm quite happy I thought it was going to be way more Is there traffic? I have no traffic this is a big old dream right so this is going to cost us money to lease this equipment but this is why farmer Eric um, gave us 25 grand that was to cover seed fertilizer um, and lime and leasing equipment so let's pop into the store I'll leave the engine running. oh that reminds me like I said this is going to crop up quite a lot I mentioned it on my Ravenport video but Seng Stocks Organics is here they put themselves aligned themselves with the store makes life a lot easier so they're just here so if we need any manure for muck spreading right here awesome very happy with that as far as i'm aware as part of the update from oxygen david there is actually going to be a manure cell point put in as well uh, which will be quite handy right anyway now that's all kind of shown you what's there and what's available uh, i know i can do this with my tablet but you know where's the fun in that so we need a planter now 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 i've used that a couple of times on felsbrun and for contract work it's the horse horse maestro horse 180 horsepower that requires but there is the tempo that's a big old beastie though isn't it um what am i doing coming off what i was looking at that's what i'm doing i was pressing the wrong button to scroll how much is that to lease four thousand seven hundred and something so i've got a hope i get that all done in an hour how much is that one six thousand <gasps> oh blimey let's go with the horse maestro i think let's now i don't mind just filling up with seed i know i can seed and fertilize um at the same time i know i can because it will allow me to do that that said i think it would be more oh, will it be more beneficial i don't know simply because i haven't got the oh i suppose i've got fertilizer in it. i know i'm mumbling to myself again um let's fill up with seed first and see where we stand so that's the thing now we we can get manure and we can muck spread probably cheaper than we can fertilize maybe i'm just trying to think because each bag of that's 3200 which is 2000 liters hmm. working up maths is a dilemma now let's fill this up 
Oh, that reminds me, I haven't paid for the last load, have I? It was, what did we have, 4050 wasn't it? We had for doing our fields. And I haven't paid Silas for that. I did say if I did it on tick, I'd forget. 2,000 litres, is that all? It is set on corn already. Yeah, let's just see for the time being. I'll worry about fertilising later. Let's close that one down too. And let's get there and get on with the seeding. That's probably the priority. Now, I've got a couple of contracts that have been offered. Um, one's for field 11 and one's for field 5. That are being leased or owned by other farms. Again, we'll get onto those in more detail if and when I do move on to them. We've got quite a few fields here that need harvesting. Now I've got withering turned off, so I'm assuming because a lot of these aren't in with the contracting, like the in-game contracts, that if I've got withering turned off, they won't actually wither now, and they're just going to sit on whatever crop they're on. So potentially I've got to clear those first before I can do the jobs that the contracts are requesting. So I don't know, we'll see about that. Right, this is going to be a, probably a few trips back and forwards. What do you think? Did we get the front uh, seed thing? We didn't get the seed box, did we? Or did we? I can't remember what we've got, what we haven't got. Let's have a look. No, that's the wrong one. I can never get the right one, can I? Um, getting confused with Ravenport, aren't I? Yeah, it would have been further on here, wouldn't it? Um, no, we haven't. We've got the fertiliser spreader, but we haven't got the front box. That would have made a difference of another 2,000 litres. So potentially... Oh, that's the other thing. So I remember all these things now while I'm in this menu. Animals, we need water for the sheep. So we've got to buy one of those. What's that? Nine grand or something, can it? Nine thousand five hundred. Okie dokie. We need it, so that's that. I think the other one's about oh, it's about seventeen grand, isn't it? It's not cheap. Uh, seed. What will it be under? Cedars. Nope. It was suggested somebody said about getting one of the seed tenders. Uh, one of those. But that's 98 grand <laughs> so maybe not this time i think it might be under planters then there we go eight thousand yep let's get that like i said before there are going to be certain mods certain items that are going to crop up on um every let's play because they're incredibly good bits of kit they work incredibly well they're incredibly useful and i'm going to use them a lot so right we are planting corn or Farmer Eric, let's get that done. So what I'll do is when we head back to the store, when this 2,000 litres runs out, we'll put the other front box on what is going... This isn't a direct drill, is it? It's because the other horse is. That's what... Oh, man. No. The planters aren't, are they? Okay, right, well. Not going to be seeding just yet then. We're going to be cultivating. What I will do is. Let's pop this here and come back for it later. Our money is dropping again. But again, it's that, like I said before, every time that money drops, it's because we're buying seed, fertiliser, we're investing in something for the farm. I think that's important.
Okay, so it's part of the B&B. I'm going to place... One day, one day I'll get that right. <laughs> Who knows? The horse paddock. Now, I had a bit of a fiddle around with this. It's obviously got a, it's obviously got a bit of a border around this for placing it. Um, because everywhere I try to put it, it says it's going to collide. Because I thought, oh, look, tuck it in there. Perfect place for it. No, it won't let me. Um, so I've got to come out quite a way. There we go. From other objects. If I go back, there's the fence behind me. So it's kind of shutting out all over the place, which is a bit annoying. So I thought, put it, for, see what I mean? I've got to come quite a way out. So I know the whole placeable thing, they've got to have a boundary. They've got to have an edge. And I thought the concept behind it all was you could put things all close together and tie up and build your farm up. But you really do need to have a bit of a gap with everything. So what I'm going to do is put it... He says... Right, so there... As far as I can go that way. And then that way. So I think we're about there, aren't we? So we're going to place this here. I suppose I could swing it around the other way and make it easier for getting the... Getting to, but it does mean I've got to move it again. Okay, that seems a little bit better. Now this is going to probably cost me a little bit of money because it's going to be a bit of a... Uh... Well, that's interesting. I'll give myself a bit of room so we can get up the side here if we need to. So, let's place it. So this will kill two birds with one stone because what we're going to do... Oh, I should have checked that, shouldn't I? Because that's now... I think I would have learnt from the landscaping by now, wouldn't you? Because that just cost me more than the eight grand it was to put it in. Only by a couple of grand, but... And now means I've got these horrible steep slopes here, which I didn't want. Ah, uh, it's my own fault, as per usual, which means to drive in to do anything in here is a bit of a bonk. You know. uh, okay, not to worry. <laughs> not to worry. It does mean I've eaten into a little bit of my grass or hay production capability, but I think I can get away with the fact I might lose a couple of bales off of this little particular bit here. Um, so yeah, we can have two horses in there, which means we can till, kill two birds with one stone. We can do the um, the pony trekking kind of experience thing for the B&B, &B, but it also means I can start on Farmer Foley's contract out at Newmarket that wanted me to get a couple of horses, raise them, get to a point where I can ship them off to him um, for horse racing type affairs. Uh, so I can put two in here, which will sort his out. Once all the situation is sorted out with um, the Lord of the Manor and his wife, we can sort out Barris's, ho the, the Barris's horse stables, because he's going to have four of his own that he wants me to look after um, over there. So there's a whole yeah, the whole load of horse stuff coming soon as well. Right, that I'm going to have to have a bit of a fiddle around with that, I think. Yeah, I'll fiddle around with that off screen and we'll get that a little bit tidier. Yeah? But that's why we're having that. So we've got a little thing for a couple of horses. Lovely. Let's get on this cultivating. And then when the cultivating is done, I'm going to get the seeding done for Farm Merrick. Which is what, I, in my head, I thought, right, today's episode, the baked bean has arrived. Brilliant. I need to get a water thing for the sheep. Done that. That'll need filling up and we need to get the water to them. I wanted a lime field 19, which it won't let me do because it's been cutting. And I wanted to, s to sow or plant field 21 for Farm Eric. So... I hadn't foreseen this bit, but that's not a problem. So, let's open this up. Now this is a 517 horsepower tractor, um, so I could definitely go with a much bigger cultivator now if I wanted to for the farm, 
but for the time being this is what we've got we haven't got the money to buy a new one so we'll stick with this I'm going to see you in a little while once this is cultivated because it's going to take a little while to do this So while the baked bean is now finishing off the last bits, I went round, did round the two telegraph poles that are in the field, got myself a rectangle, that's now finishing off. I'm going to go over to the store, pick up the um, water container, we're up to five hours on the armour track, we have an hour left of our lease on this, and then it goes back. I'm still torn, <laughs> because we've got the fen over here. And the baked beans now arrived. I don't know if we can warrant another tractor. I don't know. Plus, I haven't got the money to buy at the moment. But maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe. These crops aren't far off being ready. Now, I've got two... I've got some smaller contracts. Um, one for a small amount of soy. I've got a few for wheat. Um... I've got two really large ones for sugar beet, both of them 200,000 litres, that's 400, that's a lot of sugar beet. That said, when the oat harvest is done on field, um, field 18, yes, if I stuck that whole thing with sugar beet, would I get 400,000 litres off it? Potentially, because the sugar beet's normally quite high yielding, isn't it? Um, I also need to do that um, contract there, don't I? This is a bit of a steeper rise up into the yard now. Um, but, yeah, again, it's all right, it's fine. Um, that will all change, hopefully, um, with the update. Um... I think that um, the Lord of the Manor will have, at that point, bought back his land from his ex-wife. I think we'll go with that. Um, plus, I believe, part of the update as well, the butterflies will no longer have collisions. So it won't have, this hasn't got a front three-point link, has it? I thought while I'm over here, what I can do is sitting on the back just to fill it up. Um, I thought I'd fill it up while I'm here. Ah, great, just damaged my new tank. That way, when the fence comes back over to refill the harvester, hasn't got to worry about doing this as well. So we're up to we're at 4,050. We've had 2,000 litres in that. There'll be another 2,000 litres in this. Cool, that's what, another 1,800 more. I can't remember what I, was, what I said I was getting it for now. Oh, because I got a good deal from Silas, didn't I? This is the thing, all those little things. Uh, it was 450, wasn't it? It was pretty much half price what it was on there. So another 4,000 litres is going to put me at 1,800. On top of the 4,000. 5,850 odd. Okay. I need to pay that. now water I don't think it's going to be free at the rivers or lakes is it I'm trying to think where if we've got a water refill point at the yard we might have well we can check this all out on the way can't we it's the first time we're doing water so let's find out shall we Oh, hang on a minute. That was me just saying that. <gasps> Both ready to harvest. 
right once field 20 there's not much left of that that's nearly done and then I'll seed that I wonder what I'm going to be doing in the next episode <laughs> what do you think probably testing out that new header I would imagine no, I wonder there's a rock here but can I back this into the river here there is a ford further up the road but I don't know oh yes nice okay I know sometimes not in David's maps he's he's done it so that you can't refill. Um, but the fact you can, that said, that's getting heavy now. Oh dear. Nice, okay. Oh that's good to know, putting it under the river. There is the lake over past the field uh, past the farm next to field one. Is it field twenty no field twenty two? Hang on. Uh, still 20. It's got a lake on it. I so maybe go and try that at some point as well. There probably is a top up point in the yard somewhere, but hey, if it's free, why not use it? Five point one. Make the most of this last hour. This is perfect for doing these little jobs. And I hope the update comes to the Deutz fast soon, because that should reduce, reduce the noise a bit on that. Now I've moved the hay bales. They were in front of that little muck spreader there. But I've moved them over here. Because weirdly enough, I put the the hay into the cell point and it took 7,000 litres but it took two bales so I kind of lost a thousand litres and when I put the bale that I had a stack of three when I put the other bale back on the stack here it vanished I mean literally just boom disappeared so for all intents and purposes I had 12,000 litres of hay of which the sheep used seven and I lost 5,000 litres somewhere not quite sure where. Where's the trough? Over there. I think grass movement is going to be in the update as well. So you should get the bending grass and stuff like that, which isn't in game at the moment. I think because Oxygen David's gone for um, his own textures and his own, you know, specific, you know, grasses and weeds and those kind of things, rather than just using the standard in game ones. So what we'll do, let's just come back here. Let's the trough fill up. Cool. Actually, the fact I've only got um, sheep at the moment, I haven't got anything else. I'm just going to leave it there for the time being. That way we can come back to refill at any point we need to. Whoa, what happened there? Sheep suddenly moved. Some kind of weird spatial translocation. Right. Okay, well that's that done. Uh, so the seed is filled. The store, what was done? We'll get back over to that field and make sure we can get on with the seeding. If I can get on with that, then that's all my jobs that I wanted to get done. Done. On the way, I'll have a quick look. I'll show you what I did. I've had a bit of a tweak, a bit of a fiddle around. Oh, over the fence. Again, it's by no means perfect, but... Um, what I've done is I extended out a little bit, came out a little bit further, raised it and then smoothed it. Because the problem is where it kind of dropped very sharply here, unless you extend out there's nothing to smooth. It won't let you do it because it's right up against the object. So we've kind of smoothed up to it as best we can. Then I've added on a few of the different textures and in the paint on this one, um, 
on Marwell, it's using the paint palette from Oxygen David's textures. These are the textures and puddles and various different things that he's got on the map. So it's plucking them straight from there, um, which meant you can put on these ones that look like they've got kind of tyre tracks, the odd little puddle one, intersperse those with a bit of grass and stuff. And then what I did at the end here, a little bit of the, uh, this kind of brown texture, smaller puddle things, put a couple of bits of that to give that kind of impression that with the tractors drive off into the field, you get that little bit of... Yeah, hopefully that's going to work all right. I still haven't tried, somebody said you, on these bits you can plough them out and then reseed them and they'll grow fine, no problem at all. I haven't tried that yet, um, but maybe I will at some point. So there we go, that's now ready. What I will do is, let's unhook that. That's going to be ready for the two horses when we get those. Now we need to get on with the seeding. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show you. So that's now in that little bit there. It's a pity because it was the perfect size to fit in this little gap here. Just with the collisions, I think, with the fences and hedge and stuff, it just wouldn't allow me to put it in there, which is a real pity. We're in the perfect size. What's for traffic? <laughs> okay, right. This is... I said this so many times before, this is a much bigger field than you think. Now, once I start seeding, oh, it's got a bump in it. The, th the other thing I was going to say, you know, once I start seeding, I'll get to that in a minute. One thing about this map, which I like, and again, it's about that kind of use of the different equipment and stuff. Straight away I thought, oh, I've got a bigger tractor, I'll go for a bigger cultivator. You can't move much bigger cultivators around the map. You can't certainly can't go with a flexi-coil. You'll never get it through gateways, under some of the tr overhanging trees, that kind of thing. Which is a good thing. I think it's great that, you know, it kind of, in a way, forces you to choose more carefully. Because I know, you know, on the bigger maps and wide open maps on Ravenport, once you've got the money to, you can just say, right, bang, biggest of everything, let's just go. You know, we can afford to, let's do it. But with this, even if you had the money to, you can't. You've got to think differently, and I like that. Right, OK. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, have I missed a bit? A little bit there. Never mind. Okay. Now we're rocking and rolling. I'll get right to the edges. This is going to be a lot of corn for Farmer Eric. Now I don't know if his plan is just to harvest it for corn or whether there is any plans for silaging any of it. I, I honestly don't know. Um, I think it was just for the corn as far as I recall. Let's go this way. Could go the other way couldn't we? Just habit I guess. I'm sure when I've done liming and when I've done fertilising I've come out and gone this way around the field. Who knows? Let's make sure from in cab I line something up. For example the exhaust stack, the boxy bit, if I line that up with the edge that should, if I'm right, keep the cedar right on the edge exactly where I need it. Now I could be, of course, while I'm going along now, have the left ridge marker out and running, which would mean on my next pass round I would just need to follow that ridge, I wouldn't need to worry. But for this first pass, I'm just keeping that tucked in It should 
or the front of the mud guards, you know, any of those little points. Line that back up again like that. We should I'm going a little bit. Yeah, we're over a little bit, but not too bad, yes, because I've moved a bit. There we go. Excellent. Right, with that, we are getting the seeding done. Like I said, I was going to say, this may be a slightly shorter episode once I start the seeding, um, because I've got an errand to run today. Um, so I can't... I need to edit and get this posted, <laughs> is what I'm saying. So um, what I'm going to do now is leave you there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've got a bit more done. The beans arrived. We've got the water. The sheep are sorted. New horse uh, paddock, which I have to get some horses in. And our crops are ready to harvest in fields 15 and 18. So again, next few episodes are going to be pretty busy and I'll be able to fulfil a load more contracts, which is absolutely brilliant. That's what I'm aiming for. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.